collecting thousands of music records and audio data stacked at the GBC Gramophone Library, hitherto documented in an obsolete media, a report by Sarah Ofori. It was a significant moment, not only in the history of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, but the nation as well. Evidence of a mutual initiative of a past director of radio, Mr. Achu Achiatome, the then Director General, Mr. William Ampim Dakun, and Dr. Marcus Cuesta, a German musicologist and anthropologist from the University of Heidelberg, with funds from the German government, is the conversion of a wealth of cultural heritage from an obsolete to digital format. The project is estimated to cost $114,000 in addition to logistical support towards the project. The compiled double CD contains 59 selected songs from records documented spanning 1947 to 1962. Many years ago as director of radio, when visiting some of our radio stations in the regions, seeing a lot of our records really being thrown away. Uh, we were just destroying them because we had not, no use for the vinyl uh, records. CDs had come in, and uh, the regional stations, which had then been operating as relay stations and used those uh, records, no longer needed them. A little over 20 years ago, we lost our whole film and video library through fire. And uh, we lost a lot of the nation's history. It is therefore gratifying that we have been able to do this for our Gram library. Divided into four parts and genres, the first contains art, church and choral music, some of which were composed by Ifrimamu and Professor Emeritus Kwabna Inketia. The second part is a selection of songs composed from the 10 regions of the country, representing the diverse traditions. The third, high life songs, both music and social discourse, featuring living legends popularly known as Kakeku No. 2 and Dr. Pabubu. The final part also consists of high life music played in different forms and social contexts. It also has a booklet that outlines comments, notes and annotations, as well as photographs and record labels related to the songs. The extension of the Gram Library has not been achieved as yet. It's on, only one listening and research facility at request. While the start of real-to-real -real transfer should not be delayed any longer due to the li limited durability of the tapes. Some have been lost already. If Ghana had signed the 2003 UNESCO Convention on the Intangible Cultural Heritage of the World, I would have by now, with considerable hope for success, recommended the GBC Gramophone Library as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A Deputy Minister for Information, James Ejenim Boatin, said the project must serve as a clarion call for all to endeavor to protect the nation's cultural heritage and promised government support to that effort. Government on its part is currently liaising with institutions to create a composite national audio-visual archive to preserve our cultural heritage and make it accessible to the world. The deputy head of missions at the German embassy in Accra, Mr. Thomas Wimmer, said his country's support for the project is consistent with aspects of a foreign policy of promoting the cultural heritage of developing countries. This cultural preservation program has been in place for more than 30 years and it aims at helping developing countries to protect their cultural heritage. So it's not so much about the promotion of German cultural products or about the promotion of the German language, but it really is about preserving important cultural relics in countries where there's sometimes not enough money or not enough expertise to save these items from destruction or deterioration and professionally preserve them for eternity. The CDs were designed for educational purposes and also to create awareness on the significance 
of the GBC Gramophone Library as a major world cultural heritage facility. It was presented by the German Embassy to the Director General of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, Mr. Berfi Appenton. Copies were presented to some tertiary institutions, some living legends and personalities, including the immediate past Director General, Mr. Ampem Dako. Serofori, GTV News, Accra.